Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, I'm taking this up from the topic of circles. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let A be the point 1 comma 2 and B be any point on the curve x square plus y square equals 60. So we have been told this B is any point on this entire curve. And then the question tells us if the center of locus of the point P, so we have to find the locus of this point P which divides your line segment A comma B in the ratio 3 is to 2. So it's told to me that P divides segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 2 and the center of this locus of the point P is nothing but a point C which is given to us that is given by alpha comma beta. Then the question is asking us to find out the length of the line segment AC. So we have to find the distance between the two coordinates A and C. And if I talk about the answer choice that are given to us here, it says 3 root 5 over 5 B 6 root 5 over 5 third it's telling me 2 root 5 over 5 and the last answer choice given to us here is 4 root 5 over 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us here. So first of all, let's understand about this point B here. So if I want to understand for point B, I have been told that B is any point on the curve x square plus y square equals 16. So seeing this equation, I understand it's nothing but an equation of circle. 16 I can write as 4 square and if I compare it with my general form of the equation of circle I get the radius of the circle directly as 4 and when I have that I know this type of equation of circle has the center at the origin so if I draw a circle with center at the origin and your radius being 4 you have this circle here. Now, once you have this circle here, you have been told B is any point on this curve. So let's say B is somewhere here on the circle. So if I draw a right angle triangle here, this is R. Let's say this is Y and this is X. So this is your X coordinate of B. This is your Y coordinate of B. And if I just use the idea, let's say this angle made by with respect to positive X axis is theta. So I get from here sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So y becomes r sine theta and cos theta, I know it is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over r. So x becomes r cos theta. Now r in this case, we know it's radius and that's 4. So x becomes 4 cos theta, y becomes for sine theta. So once you have that, you just get your coordinates of B and that becomes 4 cos theta and 4 sine theta. So you have your coordinates of B. Now once I have that, I have been told that the locus of point P, so first let's find this locus of point P which divides your line segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 2. So if I just apply that idea, Let's say point P is having the coordinates as H comma K. So if I just use the idea for external formula of sectional division, we know X is given by MX2 plus NX1 over M plus N. And Y is given to us as MY2 plus NY1 over M plus N. Where M and N are the ratio which is given to us that it divides in the ratio 3 is to 2. X1, Y1 are your first coordinates of the point that is A, that is 1 comma 2. X2, Y2 are your second coordinates of the point which are given to us as 4 cos theta and 4 sin theta. So those are the points given. Let's put that here and find the values of H and K. So X coordinate of point P, we know it is H. So it gives me H is equal to 3 
x2 which is 4 cos theta plus 2 x1 which is 1 over 3 plus 2 and k here gives me 3 4 sin theta plus 2 into 2 over m plus n which is 3 plus 2 again. So you get h as 12 cos theta plus 2 over 5 and here you get k as 12 sin theta plus 4 over 5. So from here if I try to find cos theta and sin theta I get 5h equals 12 cos theta plus 2. So 5h minus 2 equals 12 cos theta. And from here, I get cos theta as 5h minus 2 over 12. So you have cos theta. Here, if I try to do, I get 5k equals 12 sine theta plus 4. So you get 5k minus 4 is 12 sine theta. And sine theta from here, you get as 5k minus 4 over 12. So you get cos theta, you get sine theta. Once you get both of the ideas, you just apply the trigonometry identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. So from here you get 5k minus 4 over 12 the whole square plus cos theta I can just get that as 5h minus 2 over 12 the whole square and that is equal to 1. So if I solve for this further I get that as 5k minus 4 square plus 5h minus 2 the whole square this is denominator 12 square this is denominator 12 square equals 1 so from here you get 5h minus 2 the whole square plus 5k minus 4 the whole square is equals to 12 square and 12 square we know it is 144 further I don't need this 5 with h and 5 with k so I'll divide inside by 5 so if I'm dividing inside by 5, it is squared. So I have to divide with 5 square also. So I get this. Now further, if I solve this, I get that as separating 5. I get 5h over 5, which is h minus 2 over 5. The whole square plus next here, I get 5 over 5 cancel. So you get k minus 4 over 5. The whole square, h is equal to. 12 over 5 the whole square. So you get this idea. Now once you have the locus of this point P entirely, you understand it is a gain of the form of equation of circle in the form of x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equals r square. So instead of h and k, if I have been asked to find the locus of this point, I'll replace my h and k as x and y. Because I want to find the locus of that point, I have just got the equation for that point. So instead of h and k, I'll just substitute x and y. So I get x minus 2 by 5 the whole square. y minus 4 by 5 the whole square equals 12 by 5 the whole square. Now if I compare this with my general form of the equation, I get h comma k, the center coordinates of the circle as 2 over 5 and 4 over 5. I get the radius as 12 over 5. So I have my center coordinates of the locus of that point. I also have the radius of that. Now, the question tells me that the center of that locus of the point is C, which is alpha comma beta. So that we already know now that the center of this locus of this point is H comma K. That's your coordinate C. And that coordinates of C were given to you as alpha and beta. So you already got this coordinate C. And that is 2 over 5 and 4 over 5. Now once I have my coordinates of C, I just want to find the distance between the two coordinates A and C. A, I know it's given to me as 1 comma 2. So this is given to me as 1 comma 2 and C, I know the coordinates are given to me as 2 over 5 and 4 over 5. So if I just find the distance between them, square root of 2 over 5 minus 1 the whole square. The other one, 4 over 5 minus 1 the whole square. 
sorry, to the whole square. So you get the distance between the two coordinates that was asked to us and that makes it, let's find out. So two over five minus one, that is basically two minus five, which is minus three over five, the whole square. And this becomes four minus 10, that is minus six over five, the whole square. So you get here nine plus 36 over five square. So you get this as 45 over five square. And if I try to split this distance AC, which is root 45, 45, I write that as three square into five over five square. So if I try to find the square root of this, three comes outside five square, the square root comes five. And in the numerator, you're left with one five in the root. So you get three root five over five as the distance for AC that is asked to us. So if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So what we did was first we found the coordinates of B in terms of theta. We got that as four cos theta and four sine theta. Once I got the coordinates of B, I just used the idea for sectional division. So for the external division, we use this idea and we put that we found a locus of this entire point P and we found that it is equivalent to a circle. So we just got the center of that circle that was your coordinate C. Once you got the coordinates of C, you just found the distance between the two of them and that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do support the channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of this questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.